Hey guys, welcome to Better English Listening. Now, you will hear everyday conversations happening in various situations and settings. This will help you expand your vocabulary and become better at understanding and speaking English. So, let's begin. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Do not harm or show ingratitude to those who support or provide for you. I can't believe Jane is complaining about her job again. She's always so critical of her boss. Yeah, it's like she forgets the saying, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Absolutely. Her boss has been really good to her, and she's advanced a lot in that company. It's strange how some people can be so ungrateful. If she's unhappy, she should address it constructively. I've tried telling her that. But she just keeps venting without taking any action. Well, sometimes people need to learn the hard way. If she keeps biting the hand that feeds her, she might not have that job for long. You're right. And I'd hate to see her lose that opportunity because of her attitude. It's important to appreciate the support and opportunities we have. Complaining can sometimes do more harm than good. I hope she realizes that before it's too late. Me too. In the meantime, we can be grateful for our own situations and not make the same mistake of biting the hand that feeds us. Agreed. Let's focus on being positive and productive in our own careers. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't risk everything on a single plan or investment. So, I've been thinking about investing all my savings into this one stock. It looks so promising. Hold on a second. You know the old saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? Yeah, I've heard it, but this stock has been performing really well lately. I thought it could be a game changer. I understand the potential, but it's essential to diversify your investments. Putting everything into one stock is risky. What if it takes a downturn? I suppose you're right. What should I do then? Spread your investments across different assets or stocks. That way, if one doesn't perform well, you won't lose everything. That makes sense. I was just hoping for a quick win. Quick wins can turn into big losses just as fast. Investing should be a long-term strategy. It's about minimizing risk and achieving sustainable growth. Thanks for the advice. I'll reconsider my approach and diversify my investments. You're welcome. Remember, it's about balancing risk and reward. Don't put all your eggs in one basket and you'll be in a better position for the long run. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Don't anticipate success before it's certain.
I can't believe it. I just submitted my job application, and I'm already imagining myself working there. That's great, but you know what they say. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. I know, but I feel really good about this one. My resume is a perfect match for the job description. Confidence is essential, but you should also be prepared for the possibility of not getting the job. You're right. I should keep my expectations in check. I just can't help but get excited. It's natural to be enthusiastic, but until you receive an offer, it's wise to explore other options too. True. I'll continue applying to other positions. It's just that this job feels like the perfect fit for me. That's fantastic, and I hope it works out. Just remember, don't count your chickens before they hatch. I appreciate your reminder. I'll stay focused and remain realistic while keeping my fingers crossed. That's the spirit. Stay positive, but also be prepared for different outcomes. It's the best way to handle these situations. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep it in mind throughout the job hunting process. Every cloud has a silver lining. There is something positive or beneficial in every situation, even a difficult one. I can't believe my project got cancelled. I put so much effort into it. I know, it's disappointing. But you know what they say, every cloud has a silver lining. Yeah, right now, I just see dark clouds. What possible silver lining could there be? Sometimes setbacks lead to unexpected opportunities. Maybe this will open the door to something even better. I hope you're right. It's just hard to see it that way when you've invested so much time and energy. I completely understand. It's tough, but remember, you've gained valuable experience from this project, and that can benefit you in the future. I guess you're right. I've learned a lot, even if it won't be put to use in this particular project. That's the spirit. Keep your skills sharp, and when the right opportunity comes along, You'll be well prepared. Thanks for the pep talk. I'll stay positive and look for that silver lining. Anytime. Stay resilient. And you'll find that brighter side sooner or later. Every cloud has a silver lining, even if it's hard to see at first. Hey, I need to leave a message for our neighbor, Miss Johnson. She wanted to know when the community meeting is. Sure, just let me know what you want to say, and I'll help you leave a clear message. Thanks. Here's what I'll say. Hi, Miss Johnson. This is a from next door. I wanted to let you know that the community meeting is scheduled for next Saturday at 3 p.m. in the clubhouse. Hope to see you there. That sounds perfect. Should I leave your number in case she wants to reach out? Yes, definitely. You can add, feel free to call me if you have any questions. My number is 12,345. Have a great day. Got it. So, the complete message will be, Hi, Miss Johnson. This is a from next door. I wanted to let you know that the community meeting is scheduled for next Saturday at 3 p.m. in the clubhouse. Feel free to call me if you have any questions. My number is your phone number. Have a great day. That's perfect. Thanks for helping me with this. I appreciate it. No problem at all. Glad I could assist. I'll make sure to leave the message for her. Thanks again. Hopefully, she'll get the message and be able to attend the meeting. I'm sure she'll appreciate you keeping her informed.
Message left. All done. Great. You're a lifesaver. Thanks for your help once again. Anytime. Let me know if you need anything else. Have a wonderful day. Collect call. Hey, I'm in a bit of a situation. Is it okay if I make a collect call to you? Of course, no problem. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Just had some unexpected travel complications. Can you accept the collect call from the payphone near the train station? Absolutely. I'll be on the lookout for the call. Just let me know when you're making it so I don't miss it. Thanks a lot. I'll try to make the call in the next few minutes. It's really appreciated. Don't worry about it. Just focus on getting things sorted out. I'll be here waiting for your call. Hello, I've accepted the collect call. Are you all right? Hey, thanks for picking up. I'm fine, just had some transportation hiccups. I'm working on getting it sorted, but I wanted to let you know in case I need your assistance. No problem, glad you reached out. If you need any help or support, just let me know. I'm here for you. I really appreciate that. Hopefully, things will be back on track soon. Thanks again for accepting the collect call. Absolutely. Don't hesitate to call if you need anything else. Take care and stay safe. Will do. Thanks for being there. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Seeing the doctor. Hey, are you ready for your doctor's appointment today? Yeah, I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. I haven't been to the doctors in a while. Don't worry, it's just a checkup. I'm sure everything will be fine. Just let the doctor know how you've been feeling. I know, I just get anxious about medical stuff. Thanks for coming with me for support. Of course, I'm here for you. And remember, it's important to communicate any concerns or symptoms you might have. You're right. I've made a list of things I want to discuss with the doctor. I don't want to forget anything. That's a good idea. It's easy to forget things once you're in the doctor's office. And they're there to help, so don't hesitate to ask questions. I'll keep that in mind. Do you think I should write down any instructions or recommendations the doctor gives? Definitely. Having things written down will help you remember Everything accurately when you get home. Thanks for the advice. I'll do that. And I guess I'll find out if I need any prescriptions or follow-up appointments. Yeah, the doctor will guide you on what to do next, if needed. Just stay positive, and remember, you're taking care of your health. You're right. I'm glad I have you here with me. Let's head to the doctor's office and get this checkup done. Absolutely. You've got this. I'm here to support you every step of the way. Thanks. It means a lot. Let's go. Post Office Hey, I need to mail these packages. Want to come with me to the post office? Sure, 
I have a few letters to send out as well. Let's head there together. Hello. How can I assist you today? Hi. I have three packages that I need to send. Two of them are going to different states, and one is international. No problem. Let me weigh the packages and calculate the shipping costs for you. While you're doing that, I need to buy some stamps for these letters. How much are they each now? The current price for a regular stamp is 55 cents. Would you like a booklet of stamps? Yes, a booklet of stamps would be great. Here's the payment. For the two packages within the US, the shipping will be $12.50 each. And for the international package, it will be $30. Sounds good. I'll go ahead and pay for the shipping. Great. I'll print out the shipping labels and provide you with the tracking numbers. You can keep these receipts as well. And here are the letters I'd like to send. Could you weigh them and let me know the postage required? Sure thing. The letters weigh the same, so the postage for each will be 55 cents. Perfect. I'll go ahead and pay for those. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. If you need any more assistance, feel free to ask. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Hey, we're running low on gas. Do you want to stop at the next gas station? Yeah, definitely, eh? I don't want to risk running out of gas in the middle of nowhere. Agreed. Plus, it's always a good idea to have a full tank before we hit the road again. Do you know if there's a gas station coming up soon? According to the GPS, there should be one in about 10 miles. We can stop there. Sounds like a plan. While we're there, we can also grab some snacks and stretch our legs. Good idea. Oh, and let's make sure we check the tire pressure while we're at the gas station. Right. That's important for a smooth and safe ride. And speaking of safety, do you have the emergency kit in the trunk? Yes, I packed it before we left. It has a first aid kit, some tools, and other essentials. Perfect. It's always better to be prepared for any unexpected situations. Agreed. All right, I see the gas station up ahead. Let's get some fuel, take a break, and then continue on our journey. Sounds like a plan. And don't forget to grab a map of the area in case our GPS acts up. Definitely, it's always good to have a backup navigation option. Let's make this pit stop count. Let's do it. Fuel up, refresh, and then back on the road. Taking a cruise. Wow, the cruise ship looks amazing. I can't believe we're finally taking a cruise. I know, right? It's so impressive. The size of this ship is mind-blowing. Did you remember to bring all the necessary documents like our passports and boarding passes? Yep, I have them safely stored in my travel pouch, ready to present them when needed. Good thinking. And did you pack everything you need for the trip? Sunscreen, swimsuits, formal wear. I've got all that covered. I even packed a variety of outfits for different occasions. Perfect, you're well prepared. Have you decided on which excursions you want to take at the ports? I've been researching them, and I have a few in mind. I'll finalize my choices soon. Great, it's good to have a plan. Oh, and don't forget to familiarize yourself with the ship's layout. Yes, I've been studying the deck plans. There's so much to explore on board. 
And speaking of exploring, remember to enjoy the amenities, the pools, restaurants, and entertainment options. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to relaxing and having a good time. Are you excited about the dining options? Definitely. Trying out different cuisines on the ship is one of the things I'm most excited about. It's going to be an incredible experience. Let's make the most of this cruise and create lasting memories. Agreed. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Here's to a fantastic journey. Cheers to that. Let's embark on this adventure and make it unforgettable. Warranty Hey, I just realized that the warranty on my laptop is about to expire. Do you think I should get an extended warranty? Well, it depends on how much it would cost, and how confident you are about the laptop's durability. That's true. I've heard mixed opinions about extended warranties, some say they're worth it, others not so much. Extended warranties can be useful for high-value items, like laptops, that you heavily rely on. It's like an added safety net. Yeah, I use my laptop for work and personal stuff, so it's important for it to be in good shape. In that case, it might be worth looking into. But make sure to read the fine print and understand what's covered and what's not. Good point. I'll definitely do my research before making a decision. And remember, some credit cards also offer extended warranty protection as a perk. Check if your card has that feature. I'll check that out. Thanks for the tip. Have you ever bought an extended warranty? I have for certain electronics, like my phone. It actually came in handy when I had an issue. That's good to know. I'll weigh the pros and cons before I decide. Thanks for your advice. No problem. Just take your time and make an informed decision. It's always better to be prepared. Absolutely. I'll do my due diligence. Thanks again for the help. You're welcome. If you need more info or opinions, feel free to ask anytime. Wrong number. Hi, is this Sarah? I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. This is actually Alex. Oh, I apologize for that. I was trying to reach my friend Sarah. No problem at all. Mistakes happen. Maybe you dialed the wrong number by accident. Yeah, I must have. Sorry for bothering you. It's really not a bother. Don't worry about it. Thanks for understanding. Have a good day, Alex. You two take care. Hello. Hi, is this Sarah? No, I think you have the wrong number again. This is actually Mike. Oh, my apologies. I'm trying to reach my friend Sarah, but I keep getting the wrong numbers today. No worries, happens to the best of us. Hope you find the right number soon. Thanks, have a great day. You too, bye. Hey, I think our train is arriving in a few minutes. Do you have the tickets handy? Yes, I've got them right here in my bag. And I downloaded the train app too, just in case. Perfect. That should help us keep track of the stops and arrival time. Which platform is our train departing from? 
It's platform three. I checked the schedule earlier. Let's head there soon to grab good seats. Sounds like a plan. I prefer the window seat so I can enjoy the scenery. Me too. Views from the train can be so relaxing. By the way, did you bring any snacks for the journey? Yep, I packed some sandwiches and water. Snacks are a must for long train rides. Agreed. Oh, and don't forget your charger. Trains usually have outlets these days. Good catch, thanks. It's a long trip, so keeping my devices charged is essential. And speaking of long trips, did you bring a book or something to keep you entertained? I have my Kindle loaded with a few books, so I won't get bored. Nice. Looks like we're well prepared for the journey then. Let's head to the platform so we can get settled in before the train arrives. Definitely. I'm looking forward to a comfortable ride and some quality reading time. Let's find the perfect seats and enjoy the ride. Long train journeys can be surprisingly enjoyable. Agreed. All set to board the train and have a relaxed journey. Bus. Hey, I think our bus is approaching the stop. Do you have your bus pass or fare ready? Yep, I've got my pass right here in my wallet. And I also have some change just in case. Great, it's always good to be prepared. I checked the bus schedule earlier. Our bus should be here any minute. Perfect timing then. Which bus line are we taking and where is it headed? We're taking line 25 and it's heading to the city center. It's a direct route. So the ride should be relatively quick. That's convenient. I remember the last time we had to make multiple transfers and it was quite a hassle. Definitely, direct routes are much more convenient. Oh, and make sure you have your mask handy just in case. Right, masks are a must these days. I've got an extra one in my bag too, just in case. Perfect. It's better to be safe. Oh, and did you bring your headphones? I find it nice to listen to music during the ride. Yes, I have them. I also downloaded a podcast for the journey. Nice, that should make the ride more enjoyable. Do you know how often this bus comes by? I think it's every 15 minutes during this time of day. We shouldn't have to wait long if we miss this one. Good to know. Looks like the bus is pulling in now. Let's get ready to board. Ready to go. Let's find some seats and settle in for the ride. Agreed. Enjoy the ride and the podcast. Asking for a directions. Excuse me, do you know how to get to the city museum from here? Sure. It's actually not too far. You'll want to head straight down the street for about three blocks. Got it. And then? Once you reach the third block, take a left turn onto Maple Avenue. The museum should be on your right after a couple of minutes. Okay, so straight for three blocks left on Maple Avenue. And the museum is on the right. Thanks. No problem. It's a pretty straightforward route. You can't miss it. Do you know if there's any parking available around the museum? There's a parking lot right next to the museum. You should be able to find a spot there. That's good to hear. Is the museum open today? Yes, it should be open. Their usual hours are from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Perfect. That gives me plenty of time to explore. Thanks so much for your help. You're welcome. Enjoy your visit to the museum. I will, thanks again. No problem, have a great time. If you need any more directions, feel free to ask. Will do, thanks. Car rental.
Hey, I think the car rental place is just around the corner. Did you bring all the necessary documents? Yes, I have my driver's license, passport, and the reservation confirmation. I think we're good to go. Awesome, it shouldn't take long to pick up the car then. Do you remember which type of car we reserved? Yep, it's a compact sedan. It should be fuel efficient and easy to drive around. Good choice. And did you opt for any additional insurance coverage or GPS? I decided to go for the additional insurance just to be safe. And I also added the GPS since we're in an unfamiliar place. Smart move. It's better to have peace of mind while driving in a new location. Did you check the fuel policy? Yes, they said it should be full when we pick it up. And we need to return it full as well. Sounds straightforward. And don't forget to inspect the car for any existing damages before leaving the rental place. Definitely. I'll make sure to take photos too, just in case. Perfect. Oh, and remember to ask about any tolls or parking guidelines in the area. Right, I'll do that. It's better to know all the details up front. Absolutely. Let's head to the rental place, get the car, and start our adventure. I'm looking forward to it. Let's make sure we're all set and ready to hit the road. Agreed. Time to explore. Here we are almost at customs. Did you fill out the declaration form? Yep, I got it filled out on the plane. Just hope I did it right. It's usually straightforward. Just declare any items you're bringing that exceed the limits. Right, I marked down the gifts I bought and the electronics I'm carrying. Good call. And remember, honesty is key when dealing with customs. Definitely, I don't want any trouble. Do we need to declare the snacks we picked up at the duty-free? No need for that. Food items for personal use are usually fine. Just declare if they're perishable. Got it. Do we need to get in separate lines since we're not family? Usually, there's a line for residents and a line for visitors. Since we're not family, we should use the visitor line. Okay, sounds good. I hope it doesn't take too long. It shouldn't be too bad. Just make sure you have your passport and declaration form ready. Passport and form, got it. Anything else we should know before we get there? If they ask any questions, answer truthfully and confidently. And if they want to inspect your bags, cooperate. Understood. Let's hope this goes smoothly. It should be fine, just stay calm. Once we're through, we'll be on our way to the next adventure. Can't wait. Thanks for the tips. No problem, let's do this. Boarding Hey, looks like they've started the boarding process. Are you ready to go? Absolutely. I've been looking forward to this. Do we have everything we need in our carry-ons? I think so. Passports, boarding passes, snacks, and entertainment. I double-checked before we left the lounge. Great. Let's not forget our masks. They're a must these days. Good call. Safety first. Oh, and the hand sanitizer too. Right, got it right here. It's a different kind of pre-flight routine now. Indeed. And remember to keep your boarding pass handy. They'll want to see it again at the gate. Will do. Speaking of which, which zone are we boarding in? We're in zone 3, so we'll have a bit of time before they call us. Zone 1 and 2 go first. Got it. I'm glad we're not in a rush. It's nice not having to stand in a long line. Absolutely. And it's good we'll have some time to settle in before the mad rush in the aisle. 
true. I always feel a bit claustrophobic when everyone's crowding to find their seats. Once we're on the plane, let's make sure we know where our seats are and how to get there without holding up the line. Agreed. Let's aim for a smooth boarding process. Ready to go when they call our zone? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's make this a great flight. Absolutely. Adventure awaits. Attending the ball. What a splendid ball this is. The decorations and ambience are truly enchanting. Absolutely. The organizers have outdone themselves. The chandeliers and floral arrangements create such a magical atmosphere. And look at all the guests in their exquisite attire. The gowns and tuxedos are like something out of a fairy tale. I couldn't agree more. Everyone has really embraced the theme of elegance. Have you tried the horse d'oeuvres? The culinary delights are a highlight for sure. Not yet, but I've heard the praise. Let's make our way to the buffet soon. Oh, the orchestra is about to start playing. Care to dance? I'd be delighted. The waltz they're about to play is one of my favorites. It's wonderful to see so many couples swirling around the dance floor. Indeed, the dance brings an old world charm to the event. Your gown is stunning, by the way. The sapphire blue complements the theme perfectly. Thank you. And you look dashing in that tuxedo. Shall we join the dance, then? Let's. With such a splendid evening, dancing seems like the perfect way to make the most of it. Taxi Hey, let's catch a taxi to the conference venue. It's quite a walk from here. Agreed. Especially with all the stuff we're carrying. Do you know if there's a taxi stand nearby? Yeah, there's one just around the corner. We shouldn't have trouble finding a cab. Awesome. Do you have the address handy? I'll give it to the driver. Sure thing. Here it is 123 Main Street, Conference Center. Got it. Thanks. And I assume you have some local currency to pay for the ride? Yes, I made sure to withdraw some cash earlier. It's always good to have the local currency on hand. Perfect. I've heard that some taxis might not take credit cards here. Yeah, it's better not to rely solely on cards. Anyway, once we're in the taxi, let's make sure the driver uses the meter. Agreed. I've heard stories about tourists getting overcharged. Better safe than sorry. And if the driver suggests an alternative route, it's always a good idea to have a map open on your phone to track the route. Good tip. Safety first. Do you know how long the ride should take? It's about a 20-minute drive, but it might be longer if there's heavy traffic. All right. Fingers crossed for smooth traffic. Let's head to the taxi stand now. Absolutely. Ready to get to the conference in style? You know it. Let's go catch that taxi. Damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good. You look great. I like you. I can't wait. A first time. A first day. You're so fine. I'm so late. You sip wine. I drink straight. Don't waste time. To my place. I feel my heart erased. Catch me if I fall
all on tap I'm loving your vibe, always have your back We like all the same tracks Listen all night in the sheets of black Said I'm falling fast Don't remember life before you, that's fact I feel good, you look great I like you Thank you for joining us today on Better English Listening. Don't forget to subscribe to Better English Listening by clicking that subscribe button below. And if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If you have any questions, suggestions, or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please share them in the comment section below. Until next time, keep studying, keep speaking, and keep shining in the world of English. See you in the next lesson.